Me like mice goes with cheese, mice and cheese, you wouldn't believe for free the steez capital. I got ice. My problem style solving is rational. All right. There are two mice and n different types of cheese. It's a lot of different types of cheese, man. Each type of cheese should be eaten by exactly one mouse, all right? So one of the two mice... One of the mouse, if English isn't your first language, it's weird, I know. Mouse is no mice. Okay? They can all, there's all this cheese and they decide which cheese they're going to eat. Okay? The a point of the cheese with index I is reward I if the first mouse eats it and reward two, reward one I if the first mouse eats it and reward two I if the second mouse eats it. All right? So there's some sort of reward associated with eating this cheese. So maybe we'll think about the satisfaction of the mice, right? One mouse, one mouse gets way more satisfaction from eating the first piece of cheese than the other mouse. So there's more reward associated with it. So reward one of I is the satisfaction that the first mouse gets if he eats the cheese versus reward, reward two of I is the satisfaction if the second mouse eats the cheese. And it's kind of like, well, you know, it makes sense if depending on the problem, maybe it's better if there's a lot of if the first person, if the first mouse really likes the cheese and the second mouse doesn't really like the cheese, then maybe it makes more sense to give that cheese to the first mouse if you're trying to satisfy the, the, the mice. If you don't care about the mice, maybe you don't want to satisfy them. Maybe you would give the one, you know, vice versa. Okay, so you're given a positive integer array reward one and positive integer array reward two and a non-negative integer K. You want to return the maximum points the mice can achieve if the first mouse eats exactly K types of cheese. Okay, so the constraint here is we want to maximize the points, right? If we wanted to maximize the points, then, you know, we would just give everybody as much cheese as possible that would maximize the points, right? So if, you know, how would I word this, right? If we're trying to maximize the points, we would just look at whoever gets more when they eat the cheese, right? Um, you know, I look at a piece of cheese and I'd say, Who's going to give me, you know, okay, so let's think about it like this. If we wanted to maximize points with no K constraint, right? If we wanted to maximize the points with no K constraint, we'd basically say, well, for each piece of cheese, let the person, let the mouse that gets a higher reward eat the cheese, right? So for each piece of cheese, just let the mouse that gets the higher reward eat the cheese, right? So if you had cheeses like this, for example, like the example, well, you know, you would just say, well, you know, someone's got to eat this first piece of cheese. So I'll get four points if I let mouse two eat this cheese. I'll get four points if I let mouse two eat this cheese. I'll only get one point if I let mouse two eat this cheese. So I should let mouse one eat this cheese. And that's going to give me a greater score. And I should let mouse one eat this piece of cheese because it's going to get a score of four. Right? So when I go through this list, what I basically say is, who's going to give me the maximum amount of reward when eating this cheese? Right? So in this problem, you would get four plus four plus three plus four. Right, if you just looked at them side by side by side, side by side by side by side by side by side by side, okay? So that's a simple enough problem, right? Because you would just look at each piece of cheese, you'd say, who gets more, give me that. The only kind of tweak to this problem, which makes it a medium, that makes it a little bit more difficult, is that the first mouse has to eat exactly K types of cheese, okay? So since, since the first mouse I don't know why I'm randomly deciding to use capitals and randomly decide not to. Who knows is going to work into my mind. Since the first mouse decides, ha wait, since the first mouse has to eat K types of cheese, right? But this problem really comes to is, well, then which K types of cheese should he eat? Should the mouse eat? Don't assume the gender of the mouse. Should the mouse eat? If we want to what? We want to maximize the score, right? So which pieces of cheese should the first mouse eat? Because he has to eat at least, he has to eat exactly K of them. So which K should he eat to maximize the score? 
Well, he should definitely eat which ones? He should definitely eat the ones where he gets, where mouse one has a higher reward than mouse two, right? Because, right, mouse one should definitely eat the, eat the piece, the types of cheese where he gets more than mouse, than mouse two. Right, because he's getting more, it's gonna add more to our reward if we choose that piece of cheese, right? If we have two, then mouse one should definitely eat cheese three and cheese four, right? Because otherwise we're leaving stuff on the table. But, you know, I guess this point is too general because case by case basis, there may not be K pieces of cheese where you make more points by eating it, right? Or there may be more than K pieces of cheese where you make more by eating it, right? For example, imagine we had K equals two, okay? So just so an example, right? This is a general idea, but it doesn't apply uniformly because on a case-by-case -case basis, this may not be the situation, right? If mouse one had four, 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 or say eight, nine, 10, and seven, Okay, and mouse two only got one point from each of these. Mouse two is a real snob, doesn't like anything to eat. Very picky eater. Well, if we could just choose anything, we would let mouse one eat everything because mouse one is going to maximize our reward. But mouse two can only eat two pieces of cheese, right? But for all of these pieces of cheese, he gets more, right? But he... Mouse one is going to get more for all of these, but he might as well do what? Well, he might as well choose the ones that are going to give him the most score because he can only choose two. So he might as well choose 10 and nine, right? The difference between these two things. So it really comes down to the difference, right? The difference here is I get plus seven for mouse one. I get plus eight for mouse one. I get plus nine for mouse one and I get plus six for mouse one, right? Eight minus one. So I might as well choose this one because it's a plus nine, right? If I eat it, it goes up nine and the, and the other, I get a difference of nine if I decide to eat this versus if the other mouse decides to eat it, right? So I should definitely eat the ones where the mouse has a higher reward than mouse too, but which ones? I should eat the ones where it maximizes my score, right? So I should maximize the score. So I would choose to eat this one and this one versus these two, right? Even though all of them, I'm greater than mouse two. Mouse one is greater than mouse two in all cases. I should choose the maximum such ones, right? So in this example, well, mouse two, where mouse one eats the largest differences first. Now the term difference here matters because, you know, for example, let's say 10, 9, 8, and 7 is the example here. All right, and this one has 9 and 1 and 1 and 1. You might you might feel inclined to say, well, the largest ones for this one is 10, 9, and 8. So I should eat those, right? So I, or 10 and 9. So I eat 10 and I eat 9. And then mouse 2 can't eat these because I ate 10, 9 and eat hate 1 and 1. So you might be like, okay, well, that's the optimal score. Well, it's really the difference that matters, right? Because what would be better is if instead I ate nine and eight and he ate nine and one, right? So in this example, we get 19, 20, 21 versus this example, we get 10, 19, 27, Right, so the maximum that I could eat isn't the solution, it's the maximum difference, right? Because the difference is what I'm leaving on the table, right? Because the difference is the benefit that I get from eating this piece of cheese. It's not just the value that I get, it's the difference between the two, right? And you see that here, right? If we don't consider the difference and we just eat the maximum ones first, we only get 21 points. But if we consider the difference, we get, uh, what I say, uh, 27, 27 points. All right, so that's the difference between these two ideas. So we want to do the largest difference first. And then, you know, the kind of flip side where you can see this, where this becomes 
also the kind of the same solution but another example so it makes sense right imagine that this was the example well everything's the same for mouse one but mouse one has to eat two pieces of cheese but the difference here is negative nine and uh negative eight and negative seven and negative six well they're all bad choices right we're we're still gonna leave a lot on the table but we might as well choose the 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 largest value right the smallest absolute value but the largest value because it's going to leave the least amount lost on the table right choosing these ones means that i don't get to add up these tens and nines but if i choose these ones then i'm only losing these eight and seven so i still get to use their maximum value right so i should always eat the largest differences first okay so what that ultimately comes down to right in this example is well what we should do is we find the k that the k largest ones that mouse one should eat right and then find the k uh the remaining ones that mouse two should eat okay now an easy way of doing this problem right is you can say let's assume that mouse one eats everything so we can return the sum of reward two and then we'll just subtract out the stuff that mouse one doesn't that mouse one ends up eating the difference right so what i'm basically saying here is the way that we can do this in a cute way right is we we take everything that reward reward two eats and then we just subtract it out when we do reward one okay so the way that we'll do this is we'll figure out what are the we have to basically figure out what are the best things for mouse one to eat and it's based on the difference so we'll use a heap to find the, the largest things right so we'll do heap q dot n largest of um reward one minus reward two for reward one reward two in zip reward one reward two so this will basically say what are the n largest differences right because that's what we want we want the n largest difference and then we'll just sum that together and then add that to this and voila you have a one line solution i believe kind of curious if that's how the n largest reward two isn't defined because i my stupid face was in the way Let's make me smaller. I'm tiny. N largest is missing one. Oh, so I need a. So how? What? Which largest do I want? I want the K largest, right? Because that's the K that I have to choose for mouse one. This needs to go out here. I've been coding a lot. I, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Okay, int object is not iterable, so. Turns out n largest, you put the, the k largest that you want first. So basically what I'm doing is I'm saying, which are the, the largest differences that I should choose from mouse one first? And then I eat up everything in mouse uh, two. And then we'll walk through why this works quickly. Basically the idea here is, well, you know, we're doing the largest differences. So we're gonna get the, the k largest differences here, which are like ri, R1i minus R2i plus R2j minus R2k, oh, R1j, R2j, right? So I'm getting the n largest differences here, and this is the sum of the whole system, right? This is the sum of R2i plus R21 plus R2 i plus dot 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 plus r2j plus dot 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 so when we subtract when we add these things together you'll notice that when we end up eating the when we end up eating the food using the the first mouse this subtraction term removes it here right so since i decided that i'm going to end up eating uh r1j r so so mouse one is going to eat the jth item then this term will end up negating this term. So that's why this simple solution works. Because basically what we're doing is we, we find the largest differences 
And if we sum those largest differences, we're, for that largest difference, we're eating the piece of cheese for the first one. But we're, since it's the difference, we're also subtracting out mouse's two cheese. So then we're subtracting that mouse's two cheese from over here. So what's the runtime uh, complexity? Well, there's n pieces of cheese, right? So if n equals the length of reward one, which is more or less just the pieces of the types of cheese, right? For for time, well, we have to look at all n pieces of cheese, right? So we sum all the pieces of cheese together. So we have to sum all together. So it's going to take n time. And then we have to find the n largest, but we're finding the k largest, right? We're finding the k largest differences. Um, so we have to basically create a heap of size k. Now that's basically just a sorting algorithm. You can think of it like that if you want to, and sorting is n log n time, but we're talking about in terms of k, so that's k log k time. So n plus k log k time, right? If we just did a basic sort, this would be n log n. So we're saving a little time by making it k log k. And then for space, well, we have to create um, a heap with k items, right? Because we have to determine the k items. So we have to make something of at least k size. So that's big O of k. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.